Hi there, it's Paul in Perth here again. We're in a BL Mazda 3, and today what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove a rear right seat belt. This is a sedan. To do it in a hatch is slightly different, but um, the, pr the principles are the same. So, as you would imagine, a seat belt has a fixing at the bottom. It'll have a looping system at the top, and there'll be some fittings in behind there. So, just to do the bottom part so that I can start to use this seat, Let's do the bottom one first. Now, with these rear seats in the BL, they have two wire clips that hold on the left and the right. I've already undone the left-hand one. So with the right-hand one, all you need to do is firmly grip underneath and pull up, and you'll hear it pop. And what you're doing is you're popping this loop here out of this holder here. Now, remember, I'd already done the other side before the video started. So once you've done that, the rear seat will actually come out. With the rear seat out, you can get to the bottom of the seat belt. So there it is there. It's a 14 mil socket. So grabbing a 14 mil, we can quickly just zip that off. And at that point, we've got the bottom of the seat belt out. Now, just for my own comfort, I'm gonna put the bottom of the seat back in. You don't have to do it. I'm just doing it because I'm not as young as I was once and uh, I don't mind a little bit of comfort. So I'm gonna pop that back in just, just to make it a little bit more softer for me. So the next thing we need to do is we need to work on getting this top part of the seat belt out. So to do that, you can see that it's, it's hidden in there behind several plastic um, coverings. The first one we need to take out is this C-pillar um, cover here. So what I'll do is I'll grab a clip tool, I'll pull part of the, uh, the door, the uh, weather strip out, and I'll pop it out a little bit, just out, and oh, just get that bottom part separated. Hold on. Uh, what have we got there? That needs to go that way. Okay. And as I recall, there is a safety clip at the top. So what I need to do, I'm just gonna have to rearrange myself to get access. I need to get this uh, clip there out. So I'm gonna have to put my, sorry I can't show you this on film, but I'll show you after I've got it out. Right, so what I did there is I put the clip, the clip tool under there and I popped that out. And then that uh, whole trim comes out. So that's now out. The next thing we need to do is remove this very large trim that's on the back of the car, on the back on the back parcel shelf, if you like. So I've already removed a couple of the um, of the studs. So basically, with these studs, you can, if you've got reasonably strong fingernails, you can just pop pop the centre part up with your fingernails and pull them out. Now I'll just assume for a second that you don't have particularly strong fingernails. What you could do. Just get myself in here. Oh gosh, to be 18 again. Uh, what you can do, if you don't have strong fingernails, is you can, no, that's not gonna work, is grab a 90 degree pick and slip it in under there and pop up the center. And once you've got the center up, you can get the whole thing out, okay? If you can do it with your fingernails, probably do do it with your fingernails. If you're rough with the 90 degree pick, there's a chance, and I don't know if you can see it, but I did actually ever so slightly scratch that one there. You'd never notice it, but certainly fingernails would be a better option. So with that out, and bear in mind, I'm doing this job blind. I haven't actually um, pre-prepared this before the video to, to, to know exactly. I am just following my nose at this point. I think what I'm gonna to have to do is just pull this whole thing forward. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I'm right, okay. All right, so we're gonna pull that whole thing forward. Up and over there, up and over there. Get the seat belts through their little um, slots. And I'm then going to be able to get that out of the vehicle. So I'll just try to gracefully put this out the window. I hope, I hope this is uh, 
an elegant, oh, what's the word? A flattering angle for me. It may, may not be, but anyway, even if it's not. Okay, so at that point, at that point there, we've exposed the um, the top section of the seat belt, and you can see there's a 14 mil um, bolt at the back there. So grabbing my 14 mil, I, I just run that 14 mil out. <clears throat> that's off, and the whole thing is out. <clears throat> so let me get into a bit of a great, bit more graceful position. So there we go. That's better. So that's how you do it. So that's removing the rear right seat belt on a sedan. As I said, the hatch is slightly different. So it's only a 14 mil bolt at the bottom, a 14 mil bolt at the top, and a series of plastic uh, trims in the middle. All you needed to do the job was a 14 mil, a clip tool, and potentially a 90 degree pick or some strong little fingernails. Not a hard job, and as you saw, it doesn't take very long. So. Um, I hope this has helped you, and if it has, please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you. Hey guys, I've got to do a correction to that last video that we did, because I made a mistake. You probably noticed that I was pretty rough uh, with that rear parcel shelf, and it turns out I was too rough, and I don't want you to make the same mistake as me. So I need to show you something, because there was something... In the original video, you would have seen I basically just lifted up these tabs, I grabbed it and I pulled it. And I cracked, I hope you can see that crack there, I cracked the rear parcel shelf there. And if you look on the back side, I also cracked off um, one of the retainers there. So I've actually completely destroyed um, this rear parcel shelf and I don't want you to do the same thing. So as, as often is the case, um, the first time you do these things, it is a bit of a, a bit of a suck it and see and, and sometimes you break things. So I'd rather have me break it and you get it right the second time. So with the, with the uh, benefit of hindsight, if we look at what I did here, you can see that there is a post on the rear side. Now, clearly it's that post or me not clearing that post that has broken it. So what I clearly did was with the parcel shelf sitting low, I've yanked it back and that has bent that post that way. Had I lifted the post, had I list, lifted the front end so the post came out of the hole and then gently shuffled back so that I didn't break this thing, I would have got it off in one part. So please, you get it right, it's fine that I made the mistake. Thank you from Paul in Perth. Please comment and tell me what country you're from. I love hearing that you're from somewhere overseas. I also love hearing that you're from Australia. And g'day to my Kiwi mates as well. Thank you from Paul in Perth.